guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can set up the Photifier and attach it to a site and then next video we'll be looking at the different listeners you can use for the plugin to set up rewards for voting. Now the first thing you need to set this up is you first need to have a separate port. Um, I've gone ahead and got my set report down here that I haven't used yet. If you need to do this, just contact our support team and we'll assign your report to your server so you're able to use it. The next thing you'll want to have to do is you're going to have to install the plugin. Now, there's actually two plugins that do this and both are very similar. The original Votify plugin still works and still a very good plugin to use and works just the same. Or if you're looking for a more updated kind of version, you can use NU Votify as it is just a fork of Voto with a few more extra features if you're trying to run a server network. It honestly does not matter which one you're using it's exactly the same setup for either way so I'm gonna go ahead and use this plugin so what you want to do is go ahead install this plugin and reload your server so you get the config files and I'll be back once I've done that so I've now gone ahead and actually restart the server so the config files have now generated now if I head over to the config file this is where we're gonna set up the server you need to remember the port that we had earlier that your server has been assigned and we're gonna head into the config.yml file and as you can see, there's loads of different things that we don't actually need to worry about. You must leave this as 0.0.0 as it's the best thing to use and this way it will work definitely. You want to go ahead and change the port to the port we've assigned you and just press save file. And then from there, just head to your console and press restart once more. This is then going to go ahead and assign it to work on the right port. And now the next thing we can do is we can actually assign it to a server so that Votify can work and you can send votes to your server. So for this I'm going to be using a site called minecraftservers.org and it's a great site and there's plenty of other sites like this you can use and to do this we're just going to press add a server and for now we're not going to worry about any of the other details as we don't need them. We're just going to press enable Votify and there's three things we need. So while our server is restarting we can get the details we need. First we need our IP address without a port. If you look here your IP is given the port at the end. We don't want the port at the end so we're going to copy the IP address just before the colon and we're going to go back and we're going to paste that there. We're then going to put the port that we've just assigned our server there and then the last thing we need to do is as it says is get your Photify a public key now you can find this by going to files then into plugins then into Photify, then into rsa and then you can see two files you never want to give any of these files to anyone then you just want to head to public key and once you've got your public key just copy that copy that don't change it don't do anything just copy that and then what you want to do is you just want to copy that and paste it into this file and then that is everything set up on the site so then the last thing to do is make sure that the servers restarted successfully and then we will send our test phone so I'll be back once the servers restarted the server has finally restarted and now we can go ahead and send the test vote on this website. So if I press send vote, you can see that it says the vote was sent successfully and this means that we can see it in the console and you can see that a vote was actually received from where it was and at the time and all the other details. Now to actually process rewards for voting, you will need a vote listener. It is easy to set up and I'll be going through this in the next video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next video.